Well, a kid from Pomona is going to the moon. Of course, he's not a kid anymore. He's accomplished <laughs> astronaut Victor Glover, chosen to take part in the next mission to the moon. And when that does happen, he's going to be making history. Eyewitness News reporter Annabelle Munoz is live with that story. Making history today and making history in the future, Philip and Ellen. This is part of NASA's efforts to establish a base on the moon. And as you mentioned, there are many firsts here. The first, uh, in this case, the first African American, the first person of color to take part in a lunar mission, Victor Glover from San Bernardino County, making the IE proud. This morning, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency announced the four pilots who will be on board Artemis II. Your Artemis II pilot, Victor Glover. Pilot Victor Glover, Mission Specialist Christina Hammock Cook, Commander Reed Wiseman, and Mission Specialist Jeremy Hansen. The team includes the first woman, the first Canadian, and the first person of color to take part in a lunar mission. I want to thank God for this amazing opportunity. And I, I think I speak for all of us. I want to thank our families for the amazing support. It is your love and support that has made this journey possible. Please give them a round of applause. Pilot Victor Glover was born in Pomona and graduated from Ontario High School, the first in his family to graduate from college. Artemis II is more than a mission to the moon and back. It's more than a mission that has to happen before we send people to the surface of the moon. It is the next step on the journey that gets humanity to Mars. Artemis II is part of the first set of missions by NASA to send a crew to the moon since Apollo 17 more than 50 years ago. Not gonna go to the moon right away. We're gonna stay in an amazing high orbit, reaching a peak of tens of thousands of miles while we test out all the systems on Orion and even see how it maneuvers in space. And then, if everything looks good, we're heading to the moon. The team was joined by fellow astronauts and young students. Their children were there when they got this call from President Joe Biden. You must be proud of your, your mom and your dads. It's just incredible. President Biden told the astronauts they're inspiring countless people around the country and the world. I pray that God will bless this mission, but I also pray that we can continue to serve as a source of inspiration for cooperation and peace not just between nations, but in our own nation. And Artemis II is roughly a 10-day flight test. NASA says it's part of its mission to determine, to validate what is needed for humans to live and work in space. Glover and the rest of this team, certainly an inspiration, the first in many ways, but hopefully inspiring all of those who will come after them. Ellen and Philip. Absolutely wonderful. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.